how to convert holding period yield to bond equivalent yield so first of all what is holding period yield holding period yield as the name says yield refers to returns returns okay returns for the period that you 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 are holding the security okay so stock bond whatever you are holding and for whatever period you are holding what is the return that you are getting say for example you know you are investing 950 and it goes to you know 1000 in let's say around 80 days so in 80 days it is jumping from 950 to uh, 1000 so what is the holding period yield so in holding period yield for whatever period you are holding so you are not worried about for what period all you are worried for is the return for this 80 days returns okay so return will be 50 you are getting 50 50 how do i get 1000 minus 950 so 50 divided by okay 50 divided by the cost you have invested 950 into 100 so that comes to 5.26 percentage so for this period 80 days your return is uh, 5.26 now instead of 80 if you would have gone for let's say in 90 days you would have you know uh, uh, you, you got 1000 in 90 days then again it will come to the same return okay so as it is it doesn't matter for whatever period you are holding so for 90 days if it is for 90 days then in 90 days you are getting 5.26 percentage how do i convert this into now bond equivalent yield now what are the characteristics of bond equivalent yield first of all so in bond equivalent yield all i am supposed to do is uh, based on this uh, holding period yield you see here in nine in 80 days okay i am getting 5.26 percentage this is what i have got from holding period yield how do i convert this into bond equivalent yield bond equivalent yield will calculate for 365 days okay it will calculate for 365 days okay and it will use the same you know the present value you know based on this the returns are calculated right so we will use the same return so 80 days 5.26 for 365 days how much so now here we will not be focusing on compounding so compounding is not connected with bond equivalent yield we will go by simple cross multiplication method that's what bond equivalent yield is all about so you just have to do cross multiplication 365 into 5.26 percentage divided by 80 days that comes to 23.99 percentage so this is bond equivalent yield. this is how you are supposed to convert thank you